In this video, we'll show you how to create the simple progress tracker in Excel. Let's not waste any time and get right into it. Starting on a fresh sheet, let's start by typing our column labels, which will consist of the task types along with the phases of our project. For example, step one will be to define the task. Step two is planning. Step three is starting it. Step four is monitoring. And step five is review. We'll also do an overall progress and a task status. After you type the labels, go ahead and select them, then apply some shading, a border of your choice. I'll go with all borders for today. And then from the Home tab, look for Alignment, then click this icon. From there, you can angle things to your liking. For today, how about we go with, say, 45 degrees? How about we center our text and our cells just for fun? Next up, we'll add our tasks. For today, I'll paste in this goofy list. The next step is to add our checkboxes. To do this, let's first select our chunk of cells, then select Insert, Checkbox. All right, so that looks pretty good. The next step is to add our progress bar. To do that, we'll need to use two functions. The first is the Rept or Repeat function, and then we're going to nest that with the count if. It's not as bad as it sounds. How about we make our lives a little easier? Go up here and click on the FX icon and do a search for Repeat. For the text, we're going to use this pipe character which is the small vertical line. We can go ahead and type that. Then click the next row down and the quotes will appear automatically. For the number of times, we're going to use the count if function to count if the box has been checked. By default, an empty box is set to false while a check box is considered true. Go ahead and type count if, then open parentheses, select all five check boxes, followed by a comma, type the word true, then close the parentheses, now, if we'd stop here, we'd only see one line for each checkbox. So to give us something to work with, let's multiply the results by 20. The reason I went with 20 is we have five phases to complete. So completing one step gives us a 20% completion rate. Feel free to multiply it by any number you see fit. In this case, it seemed logical. Moving on, if we test our formula, every time we complete a task, some bars appear. So that's good. But as you can see, things extend out a little too far. So to tame this, we want to change our font so it will look like a solid bar. We can go up here, click on the drop down, and there are two fonts that might be good choices. The first is Playbill, the other is Stencil. For today, let's go with Stencil. And how about we change the font color to green? All right, now that looks a lot better. So we can drag our formula down. The next step is to create the status for our tasks. Say, for example, we want to see if the task is not started, in progress, or complete. For that, let's use the ifs or if s function. I'm never really sure how to pronounce that, and we'll use that in conjunction with the count if function again. But the reason we'll use these two functions together is because they'll offer the chance to show the various statuses of the task based off the total amount of boxes that are checked. To begin, Let's go up and click on the FX icon, then do a search for ifs. Okay, the first logical test or question is, are any of these boxes checked? If not, we want to show the task as not started. For this, we can use the count if function, which will look at all of our check boxes, determine if the box is checked or not, and if the box is checked, count it towards our overall progress. Let's type count if, open parentheses, select our check boxes, comma true, Close the parentheses, type equal, zero. Now where it reads value if true, in this case, none of the boxes are checked, so we want to see not started. For our second question, let's type count if, open parentheses, select your check boxes again, comma true, close parentheses. And in this case, let's say if the value is less than or equal to four, have it show as in progress. And for the third status, Type the count if one more time, select the range again, and if all the boxes are checked, we can say the task is complete. How about we test things out a bit by checking some boxes, and that looks good. Now, we could stop here, but how about we go an extra mile and apply some color coding so we can tell at a glance what the general status of a task is. For that, we can use conditional formatting. Let's start by selecting our cells, then go under conditional formatting, Highlight cells that contain text. So if the text is not started, how about we show it in red? Next, we'll do a rinse repeat. Let's go up to the conditional formatting again and set a condition if the text reads in progress. 
it'll show as yellow. And one more time, let's go up to our conditional formatting, highlight cells that contain text, and if the status is complete, let's show the text in green. Now, how about we take things for test drive, and it looks like we are good to go. Not too bad. And there you have it. By chance, you're interested in picking up a copy of this file at a dirt cheap price, you can do so using the link below. And now, here's another video.